Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So in today's video I thought I would give you an update on my slimming well journey because I know some of you have asked for that. So I've been doing it a month now and I'm super happy as I've lost a stone since January which is just amazing. So I thought I would talk you through that and how I've done it and then after that I'll go through a typical what I eat in a day. If you are new to my channel then hi my name is Michelle, I upload videos every single week on things like cooking, cleaning, lifestyle, vlogs, so if that's the kind of thing that you do like then please subscribe to my channel and if you do enjoy food inspiration and meal ideas then every week on my Instagram stories I post a meal plan and I've saved them all in my highlights if you want to check that out and then every single evening I'll basically put up the um, ingredients and method of how I make eat dinner so I'll link my um, Instagram handle down below for you as well. So I started Slimming World on the 4th of January this year and like many people over Christmas and New Year, I say over Christmas it was probably since November to be honest, so November, December I was kind of in Christmas mode and just basically eating whatever, drinking way too much um, and just basically massively overindulged. So when it hit January, I thought, you know what, I just need to get back into shape and start eating healthily again and lose a bit of weight. So um, I've tried different diets before. So I've tried Slim Fast, which did work, but I didn't kind of find it that sustainable. Um, and I've seen a lot of good things on Slimming World and anything that I had seen that people were posting, it looked like pretty much like normal food that you could eat which I quite like the look of. So I thought I'd do a bit of research on Slimming World and give it a go. So at the start of the month, um, I did actually film a video on the principles of Slimming World and how it all works. So if you do want to watch that first, then I'll link that down below. So I decided I didn't really want to join a group or anything like that. I didn't even join online. Um, I just basically did the research for myself, understood all the principles of Slimming World, understood how it worked and then yeah, essentially just followed those principles for the last month or so and yeah the results have been absolutely amazing so I couldn't believe it in the first week um, I lost five pounds um, then I lost another five pounds in the second week so I think actually in 10 days I've lost 10 pounds which is just incredible um, and yeah in total I've literally lost a stone so I am super happy I feel so different in myself I feel a lot less bloated and one thing I really like is I'm not hungry, I'm never ever hungry. So because you get the sins on Slimming World um, and you can kind of eat different things, you're never really that hungry, um, you're quite full the majority of the time, which is really weird because I'm pretty much eating what I want, I'm not hungry and I'm losing weight. So it's a very strange diet um, and I don't really think of it as a diet to be honest, I think of more of it as a as a kind of lifestyle choice and I've just changed some of my habits because I just got into some really bad habits over Christmas just like you know having like way too many cheese and crackers and party food and little nibbles and things like that so cutting out that has really helped um, I also did dry January so I honestly think that has made a massive difference because like a lot of you out there probably overindulged on alcohol over Christmas so doing dry January I think has really helped and accelerated some of my weight loss so yeah I'm really happy um, I haven't even really been doing any exercise I go out for the odd walk but kind of nothing major at all what I wanted to do is get my um get my kind of food back on track first I didn't want to focus on too much at once so I didn't want to think oh I'm going to lose loads of weight I'm going to do this diet follow this food plan and this exercise plan I just kind of wanted to follow my food plan and get in the habit of doing that first um, without kind of throwing in exercise as well so now I feel like I'm a month in I've been doing the food and that's working really well so now I feel like I'm going to add some exercise in so hopefully I can kind of see more of a difference in my body as well um, and I can kind of start to tone up and feel that but yeah I've taken some um, before and afters which I would definitely recommend I'm not going to show them <laughs> um, but I would definitely recommend doing that it's horrible 
when especially after you know you've eaten way too much and you feel really bloated after kind of Christmas and New Year but I took photos of myself in a bikini which I really hated doing because it just made me feel horrendous and then what I found I did is I it sounds really weird but I hung my bikini um kind of on a door near my bed and then looking at that somehow gave me inspiration if I did feel like I wanted to eat bad or do anything or couldn't be bothered then that bikini there kind of somehow gave me like the vision and helped me um if that makes sense I mean it might not work for everyone but it, it kind of has, has worked for me so yeah so I'm I'm really happy um and then what I've been doing as well what, what I would definitely recommend is a following a food plan so I sit down every Sunday night and plan all my meals for the week I plan dinners and lunches breakfast I kind of go with quite similar things each day um just depending on what I'm eating throughout the rest of the day and I got this book um I showed it in my previous video but I'll just show you it again um I just got this from Amazon it's just called believe in yourself um and it's basically a 12-week food tracker so you can see in here um, it's basically a meal planner so I just fit sit and fill this in every single week and like I said earlier I do put all my meal plans on my Instagram stories and save them in my highlights so if you just want to use my meal plans then it kind of saves you <laughs> having to um, having to make your own because I do think thinking of meal ideas is quite difficult and can take quite a long time especially when you're trying to think of kind of healthy alternatives as well um so yeah this has really helped so yeah that was just a quick update on how i'm doing on my slimming world journey so far and then i'll get into the rest of the video which essentially will just talk you through what i eat in a typical day to lose weight on slimming world breakfast this morning i'm going to have kind of like a fry up so i'm going to have um two bacon medallions so these are normally sin free if you cut off all the fat so you can see there's a little bit of fat on here so I'll just make sure I cut all of that off and then I'll just grill them um, and because they are smoked sometimes they do count as like a sin but it's hardly anything so for two bacon uh, medallions I'll probably count that as half a sin um, then I'll just have some mushrooms with it a couple of grilled tomatoes and a couple of scrambled eggs that I'll just do in fry light. Sometimes I have beans as well. Um, you can add them because obviously beans are free and quite filling. But I'm not sure that I kind of fancy beans this morning. So yeah, this is what I'm going to make now. see my breakfast is ready um it's really weird actually that on slimming world i can have a breakfast like this um normally for breakfast um i would just have like cereal or something like that and i would pretty much be hungry within like an hour or an hour and a half after eating um but if i want to have something like this it really fills me up um and then i probably don't need to eat until kind of nearly lunchtime i'll probably have like a little snack but it does really fill me up and it just feels like really naughty being able to have like almost like a fry up, like having bacon but dieting and losing weight at the same time. It's just very strange. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here and eat this now, have a cup of coffee. Um, then I will just record what I'm eating in my book. So I mentioned this earlier in my introduction. And I'll just basically complete what I'm eating throughout the day just to make sure I track everything. And then if I do lose weight or if I put on in a particular week, then I can basically look back at this and see what I did differently. So yeah, I'm going to get on and eat this now. So it's about one o'clock now um, and I'm going to make some lunch. I haven't actually had a snack all morning. Um, I was still pretty full up from breakfast, but if I was having a snack, I'd probably just have um, like the big snacker jacks or something. Or sometimes I have like vegetable sticks um, with yogurt. Um, depending on what I've eaten, I might have um, baby bell lights. 
So yeah, but because my breakfast has filled me, I haven't um, needed a snack at all. So for lunch, I'm going to make a parsnip and carrot soup. Um, soups are something that I do make quite a lot. Um, I literally just make it up most of the time, um, depending on what kind of veg I've got left over. Soups are just a fantastic way of getting all of your vegetables in. So you get all your speed food. They're basically full of speed food. Um, and then depending on what I've had for breakfast, like if I haven't had any of my healthy bee for breakfast, then I will use my healthy bee and have a couple of slices of toast with it as well. And then it's a really filling and substantial lunch. So yeah, there's various soups that I make. I literally just throw whatever I've got, whether it be vegetables or beans or kind of anything, just throw it all in together. And nine times out of 10, it, it turns out okay and tastes really nice so yeah I might I did actually think about doing a video of like my five kind of best soups or something like that and um, because I know this time of year like everyone just eats loads of soups and it's super handy because you can pretty much throw all the ingredients in blitz it up and you've got a really nice lunch so if that is something you're interested in let me know in the comments down below and I'll look to make that in the next couple of weeks so like I said today I'm having parsnip and carrot soup purely just because I have parsnips and carrots in the fridge that needs using up so I'm going to use them up to make some soup so I'll show you the ingredients that you need to make it. This is a super easy soup to make so all you'll need for this is one onion which you'll basically just need to fry off in some fry light for about 10 minutes just to soften and then you just want to add in two chopped carrots, um, two chopped parsnips and then I normally just add in some seasoning as well so I'll just add in some salt and pepper um, a teaspoon of thyme, you can use dried thyme, fresh thyme, whatever you've got. Um, then I normally add in some, um, a couple of crushed garlic cloves and then lastly um, around a litre of stock I normally add in, just literally made with one vegetable stock cube and then just boil that up for around half an hour, blitz it and then you have a really yummy soup. Fry the diced onion until it starts to soften, then add in the crushed garlic, the thyme, season with some salt and pepper, give it a good stir before pouring in the carrots and parsnips, give it a stir again and then pour in the stock, I normally pour in about a litre of vegetable stock and leave it to simmer for around half an hour. Once the veggies are all soft then you just want to blend it up to the desired consistency, I'm just using a hand blender. So here is this soup finished, so I've literally just blended that using a hand blender and then I'll just have that with two slices of wholemeal bread. So I'll just use the, um, the small loaf and then that counts as my healthy beef for the day. You can also put some cream in there if you want but obviously that's extra thin. Um, but sometimes what I like to do is just put a little dollop of yoghurt in it as well. So this is what I'm going to have for my lunch today. Let's taste it actually, see what it tastes like. Mm, it's actually really nice because it kind of tastes quite rooty with the um, with the parsnips and then it's got a little bit of sweetness from the carrot as well. So I've literally just got this with some buttered toast. So just a couple of pieces of hovis from the small loaf, which counts as my healthy extra bee. So it's now about six o'clock, um, so I've picked Arabella up from nursery and I'm going to make dinner. Um, I realised I didn't actually show you what I had for my snacks this afternoon. Um, the soup actually, and because I had bread with it as well, so that kept me filled for quite a long time. Um, then this afternoon I just had an apple, which is obviously free, and speed food. And then I had um, a bag of this proper popcorn. Um, I had the sweet and salty flavour. I really love these. So they're really low in calories. So they're only 63 calories a pack and they are only free sins as well. So yeah, I had one of these and it's quite nice when you just kind of fancy a bit of a sweet treat and something. It feels quite naughty, um, but yeah, only uses three of your sins. So tonight for dinner, we're going to have meatballs in a like tomatoey sauce with tagliatelle. I really like this one because it's filled with veggies in there as well so I normally add in some peas um, and spinach and then um, I'm basically making the meatballs themselves out of turkey mince instead of beef mince. You can obviously use beef mince if you prefer that 
um, but turkey mince keeps it kind of lower in fat as well and then I just mix in some grated courgette with the turkey mince. So I'll show you all the ingredients that you'll need to make it and then I'll show you how to make it and honestly it only takes about 15 minutes so it's ideal for a midweek meal. So for this dinner you will need some pasta, you can use whatever pasta you want but I'm just using tagliatelle because I quite like the texture of it. Um, then you'll want some mince, so like I said you can use um, beef mince but I'm just going to use turkey mince. Then you'll just need some um, veggies to put in it, you can basically put whatever veggies that you've got lying around in the fridge but I'm going to add in some frozen peas, some baby spinach and then I'm going to grate um, a courgette into the um, mince as well. You don't have to do that but I've just got courgettes that need using it so I'm going to do that. Then to make this sauce you'll just need a tin of tomatoes, some balsamic vinegar, oregano, salt and pepper and some fresh basil or dried basil if you haven't got fresh basil. Um, then I'm just going to serve mine with a small portion of broccoli but you kind of don't have to. Oh, then I also forgot you do need um, a red onion and a couple of garlic paste. The first thing you want to do is to grate the courgette and then get a clean bowl, put the mince, courgette, some oregano and salt and pepper in a bowl, mix it all together really well and then you want to start to shape into small meatballs. You want to aim for around 20 meatballs. So once you finish you'll probably be left with around 20 meatballs and then just put them to one side for a moment whilst you get on and dice the onion and fry that literally for a couple of minutes before you fry that into the pan. Put a saucepan on a medium heat, spray it with some fry light and then fry the onion for around two minutes just before adding in the crushed garlic cloves. Then you want to add in your meatballs, fry them around the pan just until they start to brown for a couple of minutes, it shouldn't take long at all. Then you want to add in your passata and tin tomatoes and give it a good mix. Once it's mixed well then you want to season with salt and pepper, add the oregano, the basil and then lastly add a couple of tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Leave the meatballs simmering just with the lid off for around 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you want to put your pasta on to cook. After around five minutes, then you want to add in a cup full of peas and some spinach. I just kind of rip mine up in my hands and just place it in and cook so it wilt in there for another five minutes. Strain the pasta, then I actually pour the uh, meatball mixture into the pasta, give it all a good mix up and then it's ready to serve. So I'm really looking forward to this because I'm absolutely starving now um, and yeah this again is a really easy dinner to make. It's completely sin free as well and it's got loads of speed food in it um, and because of the pasta it should keep you quite full for a long time as well. So I'm just going to tuck into this now. You can of course also add some um, cheese on top if you haven't had any of your healthy A for the day. So I'll see how it tastes and then if needed I might add a bit of extra grated cheese on top too. So Arabella's in bed now, um, we've tidied all the kitchen so I'm probably just going to sit down um, and do some work this evening um, and I'm just going to have some dessert. So I try not to have dessert straight after dinner because I find doing that you kind of get into a bit of a habit of having like savoury food followed by sweet food and you have it just for the sake of it as, for opposed, as opposed to actually wanting it. So um, I like to just basically keep some fruit cut up in the fridge. I find that way it stops me kind of snacking on bad things throughout the day as well. Um, so I bought a big honeydew melon the other day and I just basically cut it up and put it in a big sandwich box in the fridge. So I'm just going to have some of that and a Muller light yogurt. So this is the melon that I'm going to have. So just some melon that's left over. There's not much left to be honest. I'll probably just have the whole lot. And then after that, I will have a Muller Light. So I absolutely love these yogurts. Um, 
these are the ones you get i think you get six in a pack and you get different um kind of flavors in there so this one is vanilla with dark chocolate sprinkles and it is so nice honestly it really doesn't feel like a you know kind of like a low fat yogurt um they're zero percent fat and these are now one sin so i'll just have that as kind of like my evening treat so I've completed my um, food diary for today, so I just thought I would show you quickly how I fill it in. So you can see here, I've just filled in what I had for breakfast, lunch and my evening meal. And I just basically put in whatever foods were free, what were speed foods, just to make sure that I am kind of getting more speed foods because you really want to be focusing more on speed foods. And then I basically split this into healthy A and B, so I had my healthy B for bread with my lunch um, and then I did actually end up putting some cheese on my dinner so I'll put that there but I've only had one healthy bee so I could still have another one so sometimes what I'll do if I haven't used it is maybe have like a baby bell or something or you know you don't have to use it and then you can see here these are some of the treats that I've had and what I've sinned so so my sins for today are half a sin on the bacon three sins on the popcorn one sin on the yogurt so I've only used four and a half sins and you're allowed kind of up to 15 I try and normally stick to around 10 sins I normally have an options hot chocolate in the evening and that is two sins so if I add that on then that will take me to six and a half sins in total but you can see kind of how easy it is actually sticking to your sins and the types of things you can eat so for example I could have still had another cheese um and yeah, you know, I could have had more yogurt if I wanted a snack or anything really, more fruit. So yeah, you can hopefully see that by following this, it's actually quite easy. And yeah, like I said earlier, I'm not ever kind of hungry at all. So this is my last meal of the day. Well, it's not really a meal, it's more of a treat. So I'm just going to sit here and have a hot chocolate. So it's um, it's just gone 10 o'clock now and I like to have a hot chocolate as my kind of treat in the evening so this is the options hot chocolate um, and it's only around 40 calories per cup um, and it basically works out to two sins per serving so I often just have one of these in the evening it's like my little treat um, before I go to bed and it's only two sins which is quite good as well so yeah that's kind of everything that I wanted to show you in my what I eat in a day video so I hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye